Now, your flash briefing from Channel 3 Eyewitness News, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner. Good morning. I'm Carolina Cruz. We are following breaking news in Hartford this morning where one person was killed and four others shot overnight at the Majestic Lounge. Hartford police say the person who was killed is a 28-year-old man. At last check, two more people, a man and a woman, were still in surgery. The other two are recovering. Police say the shooting was not random. You can stay up to date with the latest developments on this story on our app. A section of Route 4 in Burlington has reopened after a serious crash last night. Two Life Star medical helicopters were called to help. It's unclear right now how many people may have been hurt and how many cars were involved. Investigators are looking into how this crash happened near Mountain Spring Road, and we're also working to learn more details. We'll update you on air as well as on our app. Justice is served for a Connecticut family from Old Saybrook after a break in a cold case. In 2013, 49-year-old Leah Coleman died in a rollover crash. Police say her boyfriend at the time, John Shepard, caused it while driving drunk. Arrest reports show that he had a run-in in New Mexico, while unconfirmed reports say he lived in Florida. On Thursday, we highlighted the story on Fugitive Files. Tips from you, our viewers, they poured in, and he was caught trying to hide on a boat in Florida. Old Saybrook police say Shepard is awaiting extradition. Once in Connecticut, he faces manslaughter charges. And today will be a milder day. This afternoon, we're expecting highs 40 to 45 inland and into the mid 40s, even some upper 40s along the shoreline today. We'll have more clouds in the sky today. In fact, at times, the sky will be mainly cloudy, when at other times, I think we'll see at least a little peekaboo sun coming through those clouds. Then overnight tonight, we do expect to see a chilly night. Readings will go into the 20s area wide and we'll have a partly cloudy to mostly clear sky developing by Monday morning. Then in your early morning seven day forecast, we'll have a lot of sunshine Monday. Should it be actually a fairly delightful day for a winter day? 38 to 40 will be the range in temperatures, so there'll be a slight cool off, not by much, but a little bit Monday. Tuesday is when we have our next system. That one is gonna bring the chance for some wintry weather in the morning, maybe a wintry mix during the morning hours, followed by rain during the afternoon. Watch Eyewitness News for the latest updates. This is your personalized flash briefing, sponsored by Ion Bank, your financial services partner.